Adnan Syed's murder conviction reinstated. The Court of Appeals 69-page majority opinion just released a couple of hours ago. WMER 2 News' Mallory Safaste breaking down all the details for us, and this story has been the talker of the day. It sure has, Kelly. And what this latest ruling does is it rolls back the order last fall vacating Syed's conviction, and it's because the state didn't give adequate notice to the murder victim's family to attend that hearing in person. Syed was convicted of murdering his ex-girlfriend Heyman Lee back in 2000. That conviction was vacated in October when former state's attorney Marilyn Mosby filed a motion to vacate after an investigation by her office uncovered new evidence undermining that conviction. However, Heyman Lee's brother, Young Lee, said his rights were violated when he wasn't given enough time to attend that hearing in person. Lee lives in California. The state notified him one business day before the hearing was scheduled. The Maryland Court of Appeals issued its decision today siding with Lee. In a two to one decision, Judge Graff wrote that because the court violated Mr. Lee's right to notice of and his right to attend the hearing on the state's motion to vacate, we have the power and obligation to remedy that injury. And that remedy is a new legally compliant, transparent hearing on the motion to vacate where Mr. Lee is given notice of the hearing that is sufficient to allow him to attend in person. This has all been going on for years, at least 24 years. What happens next and what's the reaction to this decision? Yeah, so the court said that this mandate would be delayed for 60 days to allow both parties time to decide how they want to proceed. It's not yet clear if Syed will be sent back to prison in the interim. We did just hear back from Syed's legal team, and they agree with the dissenting judge that Lee's attendance over Zoom was sufficient. They added that there's no basis for re-traumatizing Syed by returning him to the status of a convicted felon, and for the time being, he remains a free man. They intend to appeal the decision to the Supreme Court of Maryland and will continue to fight until Syed's convictions are fully vacated. Now, we also contacted Lee's attorney. Mm -hmm. We are still waiting to hear back. Lots of twists and turns in this case. It just keeps going. All right, thanks a lot, Mally, for the report.